All right, class, time to go on a field trip. All right, kids, it's time to say goodbye to Berkeley Glen to get on a plane to go to New York City and visit the Statue of Liberty. Here we are, the Big Apple. Now it's time to head over to the New York Harbor and get on a ferry to head to Liberty Island, where we will see the Statue of Liberty. Look, there she is! The Statue of Liberty, also known as Lady Liberty, is one of America's famous symbols of freedom. The Statue of Liberty stands tall in New York Harbor to welcome people to the United States. While the statue itself is a symbol of freedom, each different part of her stands for something that's important to America. As you can see, her crown has seven spikes on it. These stand for the seven seas and the seven continents that are all around the world. Do you see those little black squares under the spikes of her crown? Those are actually windows. People can travel up inside the statue to the top and look out and see New York City. This is what it looks like from inside. As you can see, the statue is holding a torch in her right hand. This torch stands to light the way to freedom. The Statue of Liberty's torch is made out of pure gold and is lit up at night so you can still see it. In the statue's left hand is a tablet, and on it, it says July 4th, 1776. This is America's Independence Day, where it finally became free. Would you believe that the Statue of Liberty was actually a present? A country called France, which is very far away across the Pacific Ocean, gave it to us as a present for our independence. The Statue of Liberty is actually made out of copper like a penny. The reason that it's green is because that it is oxidized, which means that over time the statue turned green just like if you'd left a penny outside for a really long time. This is what the statue's face would look like if it had not been left outside and the copper didn't oxidize. It would still be brown like a penny. Can you guess how tall the Statue of Liberty is? If you guessed 151 feet, you would be right! The height of the statue is equal to 11 cars stacked end to end. Lady Liberty's left hand is as long as an average adult giraffe. Her right arm is as long as an average school bus. Can you imagine that? It takes visitors 354 steps just to reach the crown. Whew, sounds tiring. Well, that was a great trip. I learned so much. But now it's time to head back to Berkeley Glen. Say goodbye, Statue of Liberty!